We explained the events that led to the fall of the Roman Republic. Throughout the Republic, Rome had prided itself on its continental expansion. It had innovated sanitation, medicine, education, irrigation, public health, roads, freshwater aqueducts, baths, and public order. Roman moved into the Greek empires of Alexander and absorbed them as well, becoming rulers of Egypt, Mesopotamia, and North Africa, also becoming masters of the Mediterranean Sea and naming it Mare Nostrum, our sea. They were opening up trade with India and China beyond, and they were exploring and conquering the tribes of Northern Europe into England. The Romans seemed unstoppable. However, back in the city of Rome, the weaknesses of an unregulated government system were beginning to show the cracks. Over time, the patricians had slowly absorbed more and more power by coercing the lower classes to vote in favor of the interests of the aristocracy, promising protection and gifts in the paterfamilias system and the system of patronage. There was no internal military or police system to keep order, so grievances were met with violent uprisings or assassinations. Many Roman farmers were losing their land to the patricians who absorbed them into their estates, and the army was losing land promised for service. These two classes moved into Rome and formed the urban poor, taxing the city's welfare system and bread rolls. Some of the patricians saw a developing crisis and attempted to avert it by passing laws that would give the wealthy land plots and free bread to the poor, also to regulate the slums, which were also being controlled by the patricians. For instance, the Gracchi brothers spoke out and one ended up committing suicide and the other was murdered. A general and former consul named Marius created an army of the poor by promising land if they'd help seize the government. This action moved the loyalty of soldiers from the state to any politician who could promise them a better future in the factions of the populares or the optimates. Roman citizens suffered as politicians began to recruit soldiers to help them gain control. A consul named Sulla rose up and then wiped out Marius' regime and his followers. He restored the old conservative order to the Senate and disbanded the assemblies. Eventually, Sulla left to go fight in a foreign war, and Marius and Senna took over the consulships, vowing to get revenge on Sulla's supporters with blood. Marius died before he could see this through, but Senna made it a goal, gathering loyal followers like a young Julius Caesar into leadership roles in the populares. Sulla would hear of this and return to fight for restoration of conservatism.